Okay, I'm going to go through the process of showing how to assign something in TeacherMade and how I manage it. So here I'm going to go to Assign Worksheets. In Assign Worksheets, if, you, if your school is a Google account, uh, you can easily use this. Okay, I am going to use name or ID and I'm going to use a list of names. What I did is I made a spreadsheet with all of my students. I separated them out by anatomy and seventh grade. Here's all my students. I have their 900 number, their school ID. I can just copy these. So here's an example. If I just copy these, I hid the columns that have their names. And then I would just paste them in here. Okay. Once I get results, because you're going to get results based on 900 number, once you get the results, uh, when I'm looking at their names, I can sort it based on class period and last name, and then easily um, enter their grades into Schoology. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to assign it. Decide if I want to show the score. Typically, yes. All right, this is going to be primarily for me practice, but it could be an assessment. So I could choose them only the score the score and their answers, the score and the correct answers. If this were an assessment, I would probably just do score only. If it's practice, I'm going to do score and correct answers. Then I'm going to choose how I want it displayed. This is the most typical one I'm going to choose. I never hide this because I want them to have access to that toolbar. And then I'm going to click create assignment. <clears throat> When I create the assignment, I can easily see my list and it's sorted by 900 number. So again, in this sheet, I enter the grades by 900 number, then resort it by class period so I can put them in Schoology. All I need to do is copy this link, All right? Then I'm going to go to Schoology. I'm going to go into my practice course. Oh, there's the fun Schoology. Let's uh, refresh. There we go. We're refreshing. Okay. Schoology been a little off today, so sometimes that happens. As this is refreshing, okay, uh, I'm going to, here we go, courses. There we go, practice course. So there's a little, you know, reminder that Schoology sometimes does that funny thing, shows no courses, just refresh. Okay, there we go. I click on my practice course. Okay, and just waiting for this to load. Add materials. Oops, add materials, add assignment. All right, and then I'm going to get the name of the assignment. Okay, add the name of the assignment, cell transport. I'll show you what I usually put for directions in a second. And then all I'm going to do is copy this link right here for the assignment and attach okay and i usually disable comments here all right there we go i'm going to disable submissions i don't want them doing anything to this okay then i'm going to create all right as it creates it if i go down here to this when students click on this link right here okay um, is going to take them to the actual assignment and it's going to ask for their 900 number see here we go so i'm going to show you an example of what it looks like when i post the directions so that students know exactly what i am expecting them to do okay so here's a set that i have already for directions so see here, I put the link here. I also attach it at the bottom of the assignment right here. Okay, 
and I said, use your 900 number to log in. You can use whatever number you is more appropriate for you. That's just easiest for my students. And I tell them not to enter their name, only their 900 number. Here, I tell them to watch the video if they don't know how to complete it. There are the video instructions. That's it. So that's how to make something in TeacherMade and then post the assignment in Schoology.